Hello, I'm Floyd, and uh, and welcome to World of Tanks. Today we're in the Fury, uh, the tank from the movie. It's the gold tank introduced in uh, in homage to uh, uh, the movie movie the Fury the movie the, the movie Fury. It's on the as you can see it's on the, on the tar the turret. It's on the oh, it's a great start today. <laughs> Maybe I should stay in bed chairs for a little bit longer. Uh, it's it's written on the barrel of the gun. There you go. Uh, and look at the detail on this thing. It's uh, you've got it's, it's fantastic. It's uh, you've got the on the front. You've got the helmet and gas mask. Got the spare the spare wheel uh, and some tracks. Uh, planks of wood, which is uh, yeah, shovel, axe, uh, and some ammo boxes and some fuel. It's uh, it's fantastic. Um, and the, obviously the helmets along the side. Uh, on the turret, it's a, it's a great, uh, great tank. This one, very much like the Easy Eight. Um, statistically, the Easy Eight is slightly better if you fully blinged it out. Um, but it's so it's like kind of a mid-range uh, Easy Eight, I suppose, if you will. Um, yeah, the differences on a fully blinged out uh, Easy Eight Sherman aren't too different from this one. Um, I mean, you get a little bit more on the on the turret. I think this one has 63 millimeters armor at the front, 38 sides and rear. Whereas the Easy 8 Sherman, I believe, has 76 millimeters of armor at the front. Um, I'm not actually, I'm not 100% sure what it's got for its sides and rear. Uh, the hull is the same, 63 all round, front sides and rear, and the Easy 8 Sherman is the same. Um, the Easy 8 Sherman is a little bit faster; it does about 48 kilometers an hour, whereas the Fury does 41. Uh, the aim time on the, the Easy 8 is uh, slightly better with the fully uh, with the upgraded gun. Um, Again, it's, it's not a great deal to write home about. The, the reloads are fairly similar. This does 3.3 seconds. I'm not 100% what the Sherman does, but it's, it's relatively, uh, it's not going to be much different. Uh, the one thing that this uh, Fury does have over the EZA is its mobility. Its, it's turning ability is, is a little bit quicker. Uh, again, uh, it's not a great deal in it, really. So, statistically, the Sherman is better, but um, eh, it's, not, it's not much to worry about. Of course, this is a gold tank, so you get to put, uh, say, your Sherman crew in here, or if you have a, 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 any other um, American mediums, you can put them in here as well for, for the extra crew training. Um, I think I have my T-54E1 crew, which is the, the tier 9 multi-shooter. Um, and because it's a multi-shooter, they've got brothers in arms. So, yeah, that brings the, the reload down to about 3.3 seconds. Other than that, it's only 5%, and because it's such a low reload anyway, it's, it doesn't really take much away so you're looking at maybe 3.5 or something like that it's not there's not a lot in it it's still pretty quick uh, and that's without a rammer I have uh, I don't have a rammer on here but I do have a gun lane drive because of the aim time um, and vents uh, to help with the, the brothers in arms uh, I'm not sure what else I have maybe a vertical stabilizer uh, 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 I don't know is that the, the view range on this is only uh, 370 so I mean optics wouldn't be a bad choice either if you if you were hoping to do uh, a little bit more spotting like pretty much what we're having to do in this game because uh, well the south is rather light and folding uh, they have a scout in uh, the base already the artillery is not moving if if nothing else he should be moving away at the, if not before he's now that that tank the scouts dead he should be moving away and he's not um, and same goes for the, the French tier 5 uh, he's stuck right in the middle just behind the cap um, he should be moving as well they've got good range on those two tanks so they, they shouldn't they don't necessarily need to stay there they can move to say the the C 910 line or somewhere like that uh, and still be effective um, uh, taken into account they're not those are those two artillery are not overly fast but uh, if they start early enough they, they could get away. Um, but they haven't and they probably will moan about it later in fact of course they will so get back to the game we are we're pushing a little bit on the north uh, we, we have to really because of because of what's going on in the south we need to clear as much out here as we can uh, to be able to get back and help uh, the E25 can potentially hold most of those with its uh, fast reload uh, and the, the ability to save relatively unseen as he fires um, it was the only tank I believe, or was that, that and a few other gold tanks that actually didn't get nerfed in the in the recent patch, right? So they get a shot on the side of him now. 107. Uh, the average is about 115 on this, so obviously it's going to be you're going to get some good rolls and some low rolls. But 
the 150, if you can get 115, 110, 115, you're, you're on for, you're doing pretty good in, in terms of its penetration. The penetration isn't brilliant. I think it's like a, you can do about 126 millimeters of, uh, of penetration, I believe. It, which isn't fantastic, but it's uh, it's not too bad. It, it, we can t penetrate that T34 on the other end. I think he only has something like possibly Oh, blimey, I'm going from memory now, but 70 millimetres of armour in the hole, maybe? Yeah, that was straight in his coupler, that, uh, not his coupler, that was his, uh, yeah, that's better, go for the base. T-37 is going to be a problem. We've lost our Panther M10, uh, and their RT is zooming in. The VK will not last there. Oh, that was a big hit. That was probably from artillery. Uh, yeah, uh, and that was artillery. He's down. He's out. So the T-37's moving in now. He's getting a bit confident. Our oh, AMX 12T is coming over. You could potentially take care of the T-37, providing he plays it right. Uh, T-37 is playing smart. He's staying behind the ridge on their side. He's not. Our oh, AMX on the other end is not. He's right on the ridge. He's just going to get spotted and blown to pieces once they get a shot at him. If he dies, we're going to have to move away. We cannot stay here if, because uh, all we've got is a T, yeah, he's out. So, after his little suicide run, that was uh, not the greatest play I've seen in an AMX, to be fair. So we're going to move away. Uh, keeping the T25 behind, anything that comes up there, to, he should spot and hopefully deal with. Uh, that T-37 could potentially be a one-shot or maybe a two-shot for the T-25. can't remember the damage. It's been a while since I've had one of those. Uh, nice tanks. Oh, there's the artillery. That's the, the downfall of the British artillery is that the range is, is not great. they got a good reload and a good aim time, and they're pretty darn fast, but their range is, is really not good. So that's one out. There's the other artillery. Let me know he's not happy about that. There's their 30, T-37. Spotted again, so I've got to move. Gonna, yeah, I'm going to have to head back to Cap because our T-25 has taken a right kick in. He seems to have held off, held them for as long as he could, and now he's going to bug out. So we've lost... Most of our newer players on the team, we're left with our most experienced players. I think we've all done, well, I know I have. I've done about 28,000 games, I think. But uh, these guys have, have all done uh, about 10,000, more than 10,000 each, even though the AMX got 24 hit points. So he's he's pretty pinned in there. He may not last too long. The E25 is also a one ship, A one shit? A one shot for some things. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should have had another coffee before I'd done this. So I'm going to have to move in and try and spot and maybe a reset. They have got a T25 over there somewhere and the KV-3. Oh crap, there's the T25. He's got, oh, he's got a lot of health. And, and I seem to have scared him into the hole, so into the pit. So let's get a shot on him. Move back. Get a shot from the rear. He's and the TE25 uh, finished him off. Fantastic. So he, you, you don't get it that often, but it, it, I found in this game, especially towards the end, it's it was uh, the unspoken uh, team play between uh, the last three vehicles. Worked very well to clear the cap. And the, the E25 relocating, they're, they're fairly newer play. That would have uh, probably caught them off guard. I'm going to continue on the right-hand side. The point's splitting up. They've got a T50 over there, which could potentially take that E25 in one shot. So when we spot him, or if we spot him, I'd imagine he's not necessarily going to go out toe-to-toe -to, -toe to him. He's going to need a distraction. He is almost dead but that's not a one shot for a T25 he's going to need at least two on him and then obviously they got a pen uh, the E25 looks like he's been pushed back a little bit because of the uh, the 150 so we can 
get rid of him, then that will release up our E25 to move forward. And he, the E20, the T50, yeah, he's looking where the E25 is. The E25 is going to probably hold. If I can get his attention and get one in. Oh, damn it. That didn't work well. It didn't pen. That one did. E25 is making his break. Artillery. Look, watch E25. Look, he takes some air. I think he tracks himself, repairs it, and the E50's down. So we're going to push forward now. Oh, artillery tracked. Repair that. Uh, we've got the KV-85 now. I don't think he can get his gun down on me. Now he's given up. He cannot get his gun down. That turns out to be a very big mistake. And you'll see for why in a second. He's been hit. So he's nearly down. And there is why he's left his artillery open. So we've got watching his barrel. Keeping it out of the way of his barrel. He's panic shot. And we can outload him. Uh, without any, he's a fast reload, but he's not as fast uh, as 3.3 .3 seconds. So yeah, he, once he missed that shot, he was pretty much doomed. Especially considering his teammate abandoned him. Right, that was a panic shot. <laughs> I was expecting him to be there. To be fair, this one is aimed, and we're keeping an eye on the E25. He's coming up. All I've got to do is stay out of the way of his shot. That E25 should take him in one. And there you go. Great bit of great gameplay at the end. So we ended up with a class one uh, and a couple of other medals as well. I think one of those is Bruiser, which is uh, it's quite nice and a, a tank as soft as the Fury. Finished the right end uh, of the tree, which is uh, always what I aim for. Okay, we fired 21, we hit 16, but only penetrated 13 of those. Uh, we got 1300 damage and I think we managed something like 620 in spotting.